What's up everybody and welcome to a brand new episode of Party Chat. I am Matt, that is Dan, and that is Ash. Hello. That was very <laughs> harmonious of the two of you. So, Party Chat, you may be asking, what is that show? Well, I'm going to tell you. It is a weekly show. I don't know what is wrong with me today. <laughs> You're still drunk. It's amazing how, like, five minutes since our last show, I haven't savoured up. It's crazy. You were drunk on Monday and you're drunk on Wednesday. I know. <laughs> well, you know, I'm just an alcoholic, so there we go. Party Chat, anyway, is a weekly show that we do every single Wednesday where we get together for about 15 minutes and discuss video games. It uh, can be an anything goes topic, really, so sometimes it's newsworthy, sometimes it's lists, sometimes it's just something we think of at the 11th hour. Uh, so if you are a fan of video game conversations or maybe slightly more structured news or let's plays you can find out everything we do on our website thegameinitiative.com the link to that is down below so this week in celebration of the recently launched housemark game alienation i figured this would be a good time for us to talk about some of our favorite developers video game developers we've talked about our favorite games in the past yeah uh, but there the, are the studios that make these great games. So, not just necessarily talking about your favourite ones, but also ones where you have such faith in their ability that when they're going to make a new game, you know it's going to be good. You know you're going to want it because it's going to be a game made by them. So, I'll kick off the show with Housemark, obviously, because that's what the show is in tribute to. Um, so, they're a finished studio, independently owned, but they do team up with Sony quite a lot, make PlayStation exclusives. Uh, we, before Alienation, we had Resogun, which was a very good game, made my top 10 list of all time, which you can find out on our channel, along with these guys, they did their top 10s as well. Make sure you click on mine so I can catch up with Dan, <laughs> who apparently is the most popular, even that or just <laughs> likes watching his the most, yeah. so he's just at oh, home. Yeah, that's all I do. So I, well, I there you go. Video, I just click on the videos I. When it, so whenever. Feature of. Whenever Dan said I don't have time to play games, well, now we know why he didn't have time. Before that, they made Dead Nation as well, uh, Super Stardust as well, a lot of games that they've done, and they're always just good video games. They just mm. get gameplay. They get twin stick shooting mechanics, and yeah. we've got Matterfall coming hopefully this year. That looks like it's going to be the spiritual successor to Resogun, which obviously I can't wait for. Really excited for anything they do. Back on that conversation I said before, if they make a game, they don't just make good games. I think they make great games. And mm -hmm. I don't think... I, I've never played a game where they've dropped the ball. I mean, most studios will have a bad game at some point, but uh, touch on wood of every game I've played that they've done so far, it's been a great game. Yeah. Minus... The only slight asterisk to that, I believe Dead Nation did have quite a lot of online issues at some point with its connectivity. But I've got to say, when uh, when I did play it, I didn't come across anything. Okay, well that's good then. That might have just been luck. Some people, it yeah. might have just been timing. We could probably just blame Sony's servers for that anyway. Probably, uh, yeah, I mean, probably they are to server. blame to most online <laughs> issues. So, um... I throw them in the ring. Ash, um, who do you want to throw in? Yeah, I quite, um, I quite like um, sort of in terms of maybe smaller studios. Uh, Play Dead, uh, who bought us Limbo. Yeah. Um, so I think you know when they next bring out another game. I mean, they haven't bought out masses of games. I think probably Limbo and Project Two. Um, but if they bring anything else out, I think I'm going to be really keen to for a small studio. They're the sort of studio I'd really want to support. I think because. Um, I, I loved Limbo. I thought it was great. That was a really good game. If you haven't played it, go and play it. Yeah, for a, a sort of smaller game or, or, or sort of lesser priced yeah. game. It's, but no, it's, it's good. It when, delivered. You see, when you see them do something, it's like, oh, okay, so they've now done that. They've had the commercial success of it, so yeah. they now have that extra money behind them. What can they do now? They've got that. Yeah. You know, experience and knowledge. And hopefully you know, they from the success of Limbo, they've got maybe a bit more revenue and then thus put that into... Uh, production of, of, of more games yeah good entree to the list Dan who do you want to throw in I'm going to throw in Bioware off the top because <laughs> starting with the big guns yeah I might as well it's like I don't necessarily have studios that I will 
100% be like, yes, getting that game, they've made it, and so on. But they are ones that put stuff on my radar yeah. more than anything. And Bioware is one of them, yes, because of the Mass Effect games, and so on. But they have just done really good storytelling mm-hmm. games, in my opinion, anyway. Yeah. Like, they, they've think... also got the Dragon Age series, which is basically Mass Effect on land. Yeah. In, in, think, yeah. in terms of how it's skinned and everything like that, if you look at the mechanics, they are very similar. But they obviously tell their separate stories. I think, you've, yeah, you've got studios yeah. that are good at delivering certain types of games or certain, um, yeah, certain sort of genres, if you like. You know, yeah. Some are good at storytelling, some are good at RPG, some are good at special effects, you know, some are good at soundtracks. You know, you've got all these different elements, I think, that different studios can offer. Yeah, and it's a case of, like, well, Dragon Age didn't grab me mm. in that same sense I think that's probably because of Witcher 3 being around oh, very, same very time close to Dragon Inquisition, Inquisition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so it's like two fantasy things the same it would have been the same situation of me jumping onto Mass Effect with the third game and then going back it would have been like I would have been jumping onto a new or the latest game and then going back and then that would have meant yeah, yeah, consoles yeah, 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 yeah. like nah just don't bother with that one if but, they, no, but if they would have come up with something brand new after they finish uh, after, after they finish whatever next like you'd be it's a game you have to pay it. attention to it, yeah. yeah you'll pay attention to it because I think yeah they're, they're one of the ones that are just critically acclaimed as well Not yeah. that's not subjectively you like them but objectively they make good games yeah. as well. they also did a lot of Star Wars stuff as well which I didn't play but I know it rated quite well yeah so talking of people that just make Good video games. Rockstar North. Yeah. Yeah. They uh they've done a few decent things over we could really chuck in a lot of the Rockstar studios to be honest. We uh, could just bundle could just... them pretty much. But well, well some yeah. some of them do make dodgier games. But yeah. for the most part they make good games. But Rockstar yeah. North are obviously the leading designer behind the GTA franchise, which uh pretty much revolutionized video games today GTA 3 especially uh, and then even now you know GTA 5 is one of if not the best video games ever made yeah and I mean it shows what you can do with unlimited time unlimited resources and unlimited money but you know they've earned that through their previous success it's It's not like they're having you know you wouldn't just let anyone spend was it 250 million dollars GTA 5 cost to development you wouldn't let any studio do that but you know GTA has been such a success over time they earned the right to have that and they earned the right to take as long as they want making the game because take two let them do that they know people will wait and wait and wait for a GTA game Um, you know very much you know they also bought us Red Dead um, you know and uh, the up and coming um Red Dead sequel. Red Dead sequel. Or maybe prequel, prequel if rumours yeah. are to be believed. Pre-sequel. Then, um, <laughs> you know, again, there are going to be a lot of people that are just queuing up waiting to buy that game, knowing very little about it. They will buy yeah. it in the knowledge that it's coming from Rockstar. Yeah, I don't need to read a review to find out whether or not yeah. GTA 6 is going to be a good game. Yeah. It's like, it's going to be a good game. There's no way that it could be a bad game. And, unless they've taken a massive turn in their philosophy no. how they go about making their games at work yeah at worst it's only going to be good yeah rather than like a great masterpiece well that's what i mean unless like unless they absolutely change 100 percent what they're doing you know it's going to be fine yeah so they're, they're another one on the list um who do you want to add another one yeah um Ash? so i was going to say um in terms of uh, just sort of looking at some of the the other ones it would be I suppose silly of me really not to mention Naughty Dog given my uh, my love or um, love maybe it's a bit of an understatement um, <laughs> dedication perhaps um, to the Uncharted series um, but not just that you've also got The Last of Us as well so yeah, it's not just it's like pinning it on one game franchise one one game series it's, it's more than one it's another studio um, that can tell stories very yeah. well but it's funny to think isn't it how this came from the people that made those goofy characters back in the day, like with Crash Bandicoot, yeah. Jack and Daxter. Yeah. Yeah. Like, okay, Crash Band, they they were all, but both good games at the time. Maybe they don't quite hold up as well, like the the controls of Crash Bandicoot. I don't know if you've you've tried to play it recently, 
but yeah. it's so heavy, so so yeah, heavy. Yeah, but you've got to think at the time. I think but for the time, oh yeah, for the time it was it was it was, it was know, great because people hadn't seen this kind of you know the three D kind of. It was cutting edge. Yeah, it was. It, really it, is, was. it is quite funny when you go back to old games and so on, like the reactions that you're used to from the inputs you have now. Yeah, and yeah. then it's just it's like turning an oil tanker in terms of like <laughs> yeah, 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 it is. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, you know, Naughty Dog, if they were to say they're bringing out a new game, um, I'm pretty sure I would be uh, yeah. following it up. Well, that pretty much did happen for The Last of Us and all, didn't yeah. it? It's just, yeah. it's just like, here's the yeah. thing, it's yeah. different to Uncharted. Yeah, at the time everyone was like, why not just making Uncharted? But then they told us that they kind of had like two shoot, yeah. kind of running parallel. Yeah. They said since they're not going to do that again. But, you know, again, subjectively, but... The Last of Us is better than any Uncharted game. Hmm. Subjective. I would personally, I still prefer Uncharted. Mm. But yeah, in terms of you know, it's critical acclaim. I think. Yeah, yeah, it was. It appealed more to the masses, probably. Yeah, I think because it had a little bit of everything. If you are ever interested in Naughty Dog, I'm going to give. There's a if you search in Google the history of Naughty Dog, there's a really good article that goes through the history of from when they were formed all the way up to, like becoming this big household name with uh, with Uncharted. Because I think they were probably, I don't know if that's just maybe the, the industry as a whole, but I don't think maybe people really knew Naughty Dog. Like, oh, yeah, they're the people that made Crash Bandicoot. Yeah, yeah. no, they weren't They weren't a big name. But um, I think that's more, again, with... Because weren't they doing um, Crash Bandicoot with uh, Activision? Well, no, they made the original game, basically, but they didn't own... The IP to it. Oh, okay. It was owned by Sony, some, and then, and then, and then Activision basically bought it. Okay. Um, so there's all a, there's an interesting thing about how they got burnt on Crash Bandicoot in that deal was they they then led to making sure that they would never do a deal like that again, yeah, yeah. where basically meant that they lost creative control and stuff. It's a big story anyway. You can read about it on the internet. But without doubt, very good studio. Yeah. Um, Dan, you want to? Yeah, I'll I'll throw out and say it that because of one game that they've done, it basically means anything else going forwards will be on my radar, and I know I'll have to wait a long time for that next game to come out. But CD Projekt Red, oh, yeah. just mm -hmm. how well put together The Witcher 3 was when playing it, yeah, and so on. And I have looked back at the previous two games as well, just to sort of like catch myself up on the story to make it make more sense to me. Yeah, And yeah, those other two games are absolutely fine. Obviously, they don't age that well. But no game really does. But yeah, this in, is in this terms is, of like the is... actual visuals of how people look and everything like that. That will always progress. Yeah. And when Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven actually comes out in twenty seventy seven, <laughs> yeah, and so on, that Maybe is a game that I will good. definitely be looking at. Yeah, they've they've purely because of something else that they produced. That's their yeah. that's their break. It was their breakout hit, basically, isn't it? And that's like, basically all they made. The, the Witcher one and two, yeah, were fine, but. You know, even they yeah. say that they're surprised at how much this game appealed to the masses. Yeah, uh, yeah, and they they will now have a lot more money and resources to be able to do what they want to do going forward. Yeah, um, I'm going to chuck a kind of like a three for one out here okay. now. Yeah, um, mm -hmm. I'm a big fan of racing games. Um, there's obviously a lot of studios that make a lot of good racing games. Um, Turn ten, I think, are right, right up there. The best they made on the Forza games. I think they came in into this genre where Polyphony basically held the market with their uh, Gran Turismo franchise. And again, this is subjective, but I would say that Forza games are now massively superior to Gran Turismo games. You know, uh, yeah, the new Gran Turismo might come back, but Forza overtook that franchise, I think, pretty quickly. Yeah. Um, there's, there's people out there who will still say that it's not the best racing sim, but. They're really good. They're really beautiful. The details of the cars they brought in, that was kind of revolutionary for the time. Like, you know, having all of these cars with authentic things. So every Forza game, they're kind of like stuck in a, between a rock and a hard place because it's like, if they make a great Forza game, it's like, oh, it's just another great Forza game. So it doesn't really get recognised. But if they, right. do, if they do anything right. other than great, it's like, well, what the hell is this? Why is this, why is yeah. this not very good? And when you set the bar high, you know, you, there are big expectations. And also, so, yeah. if they don't make another Forza game, people be like, where's my Forza? Exactly. Yeah. No, you're right. So they're right up there. Uh, Codemasters as well. Another really good racing studio. I've liked racing games they've done ever since the Colin McRae series. Uh, they did the Tocker Race Driver 
series. Um, the Formula One series hasn't done so well of late, has it? No, I mean I liked it when they re when they rebooted it after EA had it yeah. for a while. But like yeah, the last one was pretty piss poor. And that was after delaying it to the new gen by a year as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah. but when they first came, yeah, it was really good. But I don't know. Maybe now they've got those guys from Evolution. That might help them make the game better in the future, who knows? Mm-hmm. And then the final name as well, but I'm just interested in for the future is going to be Free Fields because that's a studio that was created by the guys that made Burnout. So that's another one of those yeah. where like they're not my favourite studio by any means because they haven't actually really made anything yet. Yeah. But because of who's there, it makes me interested. Yeah. In Past the work means. Past work. I'm a bit like that with future, uh, yeah. Quantic Dream as well. Um, because of the Heavy Rain and Beyond Two Souls games, um, I just think that if they bring a new game, um, which they are bringing a new game. Yeah, Detroit. Detroit. Yeah. Um, when they bring Detroit out, you know, that is a game I'm probably going to pick up just because of the success of Heavy Rain and Beyond Two Souls. Um, do you so, like Beyond Two Souls? What do you think of Beyond Two Souls? Um, yeah, I do like it. Yeah? Yeah, I do. I never played it. People, I, I, it got mixed reviews. I haven't, that finished, was I haven't finished it yet. But, um, but Heavy Rain, yeah, it's undeniably no, is awesome. uh, is very good. Um, did I have anything else? Probably not really much else. Um... Sucker punch purely because of the infamous. It's a sucker punch to me. That was my that was my closing. Oh no, <laughs> closing statement. Okay, so you can fine. close on that one because I've got nothing else to. No, throw in. It's fine. No, no. <laughs> say what you want to say. <laughs> tell um, the audience all about sucker punch. Well, no, you can probably tell them more than I can because uh, it was actually you that got me into infamous. Yeah. So I'll let you do the talking. So they made the infamous franchise, which is the best. Franchise on the PlayStation 3, isn't it, Ash? Uh, I... Yeah. So, yeah, that's a yes. <laughs> uh, but obviously, before that, it's not the only games they made. They made the, uh, the Sly Cooper franchise, which was like a really fun fun games back in time. You can still pick them up on the Vita and probably through PS3 classics and stuff. Uh, be interesting to see what they're going to be doing next. I don't think it's going to be another Infamous. I think Infamous will live on, but I don't think it will be through Sucker Punch. I think they're working on something <laughs> new. Um, Maybe, just basically off, based on the fact that they had the coal story, which ended after Infamous 2, and then Second Son, it doesn't really end on like any sort of like, it doesn't feel like there's more of a story to be I told. I know what you mean, I know what you mean, yeah. Like it's, it's either a good ending or a bad ending. It's, yeah. No, you're right. Um, as much as I really want another Infamous game, you're right. It doesn't yeah. really feel like it was going to... I think, yeah, I think there will be. It's, it's not like Uncharted it, where you feel like... There's more know, of a story to be told. There's more of a story to be told, yeah. But uh, uh, what um, else? We close up and say, I think, Dan, we were talking about this before, it's hard to kind of name them. Yeah. But just the, a few of the Ubisoft studios, they obviously make yeah. good video games. Yeah. Unfortunately, they don't have jazzy names. It's like the ones I've got on my list are Ubisoft Toronto and Ubisoft Montreal. <laughs> <laughs> but this is, this is how they make games. They don't have one studio that does everything. They have all of these different studios. And they, even like on their big games, like their Assassin's Creed, their Splinter Cells, they have two or three yeah, no, studios just, work on a game like and they'll do different parts of the game. Yeah, there's like you look at the credits for like GTA for Rockstar. I mean, yeah. how many locations are they based in? You've got you know people obviously working on little pieces well, and they just yeah, put the whole lot together. Like, I mean, it's yeah. a ridiculous number of studios. Crazy. It's like stupid things for um, what was the one in France? Paris. No, oh, the game Unity. Game. Unity, yes. Completely slipped my mind there for a second. <laughs> but, how, but it's like someone's, it entire, someone's entire job in that development cycle was just to make the Notre Dame Cathedral. Yeah. yeah. It was like... That's a pretty cool yeah, job to have. have. Yeah, but that's literally all you have. To, there's so much detail going into that. You'll just do that for your entire time, the game's in development, while someone else is building everything else around it in a different <laughs> studio. Could be worse, though. Just imagine whose guy, whose job it is to make the like trees in the background. <laughs> What do you do for a living? I uh, program trees for video games. Yeah, basically, <laughs> basically yeah, they make to make all, sure they that make, they like or, they or, flow or cobble roads. They, they yeah. make they make yeah. all of the rest of it, and then it all gets sent up to Pierre just to put trees in where yeah. he feels fit. <laughs> That's obviously a Ubisoft person if he's Pierre. Well, I, I thought <laughs> I'd go with something that sounded French Canadian. <laughs> I think it's fair to say that you know we obviously do. Um, collectively uh, really appreciate I think um, a game when it is done right and I think how much effort and time and money and everything that goes into making a game yeah that's I think that's the thing that a lot of people don't always recognise people inside the industry 
know who's making these games. Yeah. But like, even like on the Call of Duty, your average Call of Duty player probably doesn't realise, they just think it's made by Activision. They don't understand mm. the talent. They're like, oh, why, why is this so crap? Like the last Call of Duty was really good. What went wrong? It's like, well, actually it was made by a completely set of different people. Yeah. Yeah, it's like the common thing with uh, like games and so on when it's got EA's name on it is it's like, Oh, it's gone wrong. Fuck you, EA. You've done, you screwed up again. Yeah. Mm, well, no, they just basically let the game be published. They didn't actually make it. Yeah. Sony are the one people that I think managed to do it quite well in the fact that they, out of all of the, Microsoft are trying to do it a little bit with some of their studios now, but I feel like, yeah, of all the big publishers, it's the studios that Sony own that have the biggest brand recognitions. You know, your sucker punches your naughty dogs like people know those names yeah. whereas like you said like Ubisoft they don't maybe it's because they don't have cool jazzy names for their studios Yeah. but like people just go oh it's a Ubisoft game oh it's an Activision game yeah you know yeah. but that's the way it is obviously it's not just a studio it's not just a person it's hundreds of people um, but yeah I suppose we should probably give a quick shout out to Bungie they did a few good things to the first person yeah. world with uh, Halo and then most recently with uh, Destiny. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. They, 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 they played their part in video game development. Oh, yeah, they probably yeah, helped I somewhere. So. And I, I think we are, yeah, we're, we're to see a lot more from them um, going forward, as we are from most of the others as well, hopefully. Yeah. So that's it for this week on Party Chat. Make sure you let us know in the comments down below what some of your favourite studios or developers are, if, whether or not it's a studio itself or a single person. Uh, do you agree with our lists or do you think that we're talking absolute rubbish and that everyone we've listed doesn't make good video games I think I would have a very strong argument that you'd be wrong in some of the cases but there we go let us know down below uh, but for now Dan Ash cheers guys thank, thank you as always and everyone out there thanks for watching we will see you all next time <laughs>